Hello and welcome back to another episode of Walkabout. For today's episode, we're back in the living room because this is a slightly nice wide shot and I wanted to get one of those because we're shooting panoramas on my Sprocket Rocket which shoots exceptionally wide and I thought this would be slightly more cinematic with the lighting. Yeah, <laughs> anyway. Uh, without further ado, let's jump right into the pictures and uh, we'll reconvene at the end and uh, talk about some quirks of this camera which uh, I hadn't really spoken about in my last video but I got to uh, notice a little bit more while shooting this video. So I hope you like those pictures. Uh, you may have noticed some uh, light leaks and some unintentional multiple exposures on that roll, and they're both user error, they're both my fault. Um, in, the, in this camera, the shutter isn't coupled to the film, film advance, so uh, you can fire the shutter anytime. So sometimes uh, on that roll, I actually forgot to move forward uh, onto the next frame before taking my next shot. And you saw that at least uh, once or twice. There was also some shake issues because uh, because of the fact that there's only three options and they're all dials on the lens and they're just small levers. It can get um, changed when you're not looking if you put it in a bag. So when you uh, take it out to take your shot, always uh, be sure to have a look that your focus is in the right spot. Your shutter speed is set to the normal or the bulb, depending on what you want. And so sometimes it was set to the bulb when I didn't want it to, and that was uh, how I got some uh, shake in those pictures. Uh, it's such a simplistic camera that you really don't expect much, but even though it's all plastic and it's got a plastic lens, uh, it takes some really nice shots. And while, you know, it's not anyone's, or my favorite camera at least, um, I would still recommend it because it's so fun to use. That It's not particularly expensive. I always want to just keep putting rolls through it because when you look through that viewfinder it's just such a nice wide field of view that it just makes you want to uh, use it even with its issues you just gotta be patient and uh, you know pay a little bit of uh, closer attention to all your settings before you take your shot clearly I didn't so uh, learn from my mistakes but for the most part I'm quite happy with the results on this roll uh, I lost a few shots to the light leak because when I was rewinding this roll, I thought that I felt uh, the tension stop, so I thought that all of it was back into the roll, but as it turns out, there was a little bit left and I peeked to look at it just to get my film out, uh, but to be safe, I peeked a little bit and a little bit of light got in and washed out like uh, two of my uh, shots, but you know, it's, uh, you know, it is what it is. We lost a couple of nice shots that I liked, but I think I, might be able to salvage uh, something because I'm pretty sure I took one or two of them on my phone too just to be safe. Um, but yeah, you know, I still had a really fun time shooting this camera and I would still recommend it to people. 
uh, for the next couple of videos, we've got some ideas uh, because I picked up some new cameras, uh, two Yashikas, one's an Electro 35, one's an SLR, and an autofocus Nikon SLR. And uh, it's just a couple of new mounts to try out, some new lenses, so I think it'll be pretty fun. So uh, stay tuned for those, hopefully the wait won't be as long as this one, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. So I hope you like those pictures.